Hello well, there everyone. So as promised, here is the distributor that we're going to see exactly how it works. So in this video I'm going to concentrate on the electrical side of the ignition system because there's a lot more to it. So let's start with the basics and work away on from there. So the basics of an ignition system is a bit of 12 volt energy goes through the coil, comes down to the distributor, a contact breaker then sends that energy back up the wire to the coil which then sends it into the high tension circuit at a much much higher voltage. So what happens in the distributor? Well the 12 volts kind of ignition switch goes to the positive feed on the coil. We then have a negative pole on the coil as well which is what we call the low tension circuit. This is this wire here. Now what happens is it comes down to the distributor and inside the distributor we have what they call a contact breaker point which is used to tell the coil when each cylinder is coming up and when it needs to fire its spark down the high tension circuit. So how this works is we have a little breaker point just there. What happens is the energy comes down this wire low tension circuit to here and then here it breaks the circuit from what would be earth which is all this little lot here and what happens is as I turn that you'll see the points open and shut so as that opens it creates a spark and what then happens is that sends a feed little signal back up this wire to the coil and then the coil sends that fit signal a high, high, temp, high voltage down the king lead which attaches onto the distributor cap here and that is sent through this little spring carbon onto this top bit on the rotor arm which sends it to the end here and what happens is your rotor arm sits on top there and the cap puts it puts that power onto there which passes it through to there and as that spins clockwise with the rest of the engine it puts it to each of these little posts in the distributor cap which is in turn each cylinder the other thing is because the spark can be very very powerful we need to dampen it in order to stop the points from wearing out very very quickly because if you've got a spark it will cause a little bit of erosion and pitting on two surfaces and once you get that it won't make a proper connection and therefore it won't have a circuit to break effectively because it won't, it won't be able to conduct the electricity. So what we have is this condenser here and all it does is plugs on the bottom side and that spark that that contact breaker creates it absorbs some of the energy so that the spark there isn't so erosive on the two surfaces. The common fault with contact breakers going wrong is that the condenser itself burns out and then the spark is doing whatever it wants to do which in turn creates pity on there and then it can't make a connection and therefore the points don't work. So the condenser, very simple bit of engineering but very very important because it makes them last a long long time. So if you want to know any more about distributors then feel free to tell me and I'm sure I could possibly try and do a video on it. Hope you enjoyed my first video and we'll go into a bit more detail next time. So that fellas.